Hi guys, it's me, Andrea. I will show you a little painting picture I made and um, I start on watercolour, very heavy watercolour paper and use modelling paste through this Andy Skinner stencil and I will put it on on three parts. The watercolour paper is not prepared yet. I will put uh, a good coat of gesso on later and um, this will be actually a part of three or part one of three videos I made with three different artworks of course for um, for an art exchange and I will do that with uh, Mika Middlehouse. Um, she's sadly not having a channel and it's not showing her, her art. She's a really fantastic artist. I really like her stuff. I have already quite a lot of stuff from her she sent me. So, so this time we will exchange something and I will make three things and she can choose. So you will see that Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So today is the first one. And uh, you can see this um, circle I made with the compass and that will change later. It I wanted to do a globe, so um, yeah, it's a bit big and I will change it, I think, several times. <laughs> you will see that. What I do, I wet the page again and I work with acrylic, acrylic inks here. And they really spread nicely when you have a wet page or when you spray on them, so that's why I use them. I wanted to have um, this cluster of colour on top of this uh, stencil words and I dry in between every layer and put water on top again and go for the next color and of course I have to help it a bit with my brush because I didn't want to have it dripped it should stay basically on on that area so that's why I have to push it around with a brush and now a tiny bit with my heat gun and even with my fingers <laughs> that it stays where I want to have it. So try it again and this is a dark green, olive green I'm using to have some dark accents here and there and uh, my idea was to have it in the same areas where the globe would be behind but as I said I changed that several times so that would be the edge of it anymore anyway <laughs> but doesn't matter so I put some um, some um, darker colors on the letters and of course I, I'm talking rubbish it's of course crackle paint or oh, crackle paste I went um, through with um, through the stencil. <laughs> Great, always forgot what I did. So and here you can see me trying again, getting a nice circle down because I thought the previous one was far too big. I wanted to have um, a smaller one and am I happy? No, not really. <laughs> it will be okay at some stage so the problem is that erasing on a gesso page is quite a bit difficult, but I made it. You won't see it after afterwards. You can see here it's a bit difficult when you wonder, when you're wondering about the edges, uh, why I have lines, why I have lines there. Um, I want to frame it, and that I need this tiny edge to that it stays behind um, this cutout. In the frame you will see it I will show it at the very end so I go over the inside the globe I go over with gesso first and now I try to get yeah some sort of light gray color for the background it wasn't light enough but at the end I will darken it up anyway so but that's the process that's how you start that's what you think and when it's down you see no it doesn't work you have to change that and started with a brush but then I found out that it's so much easier to blend it all in with a baby wipe 
it gets of course even lighter but I will go on and on and so my initial idea was to have different blues blend into each other on this globe and halfway through I thought no that won't be in the same way as I wanted you know because the colors um, I made I put on top of the words are so much more lighter and and yeah area they have this airy feeling to it and the acrylic paint is so blobby so heavy and it, it's drowning all a bit so what I did I let it dry a tiny bit and I lost that part again yeah. um, and I wiped it off with or most of it as you can see with a baby wipe so and this light blue I was left with with was perfect to me what I do now I go on with my pit pens the big brush I scribble them down here to the craft mat on the right you can see that take it up with my water tank brush and I will shade around the edges with a darker blue and um, that's the way I wanted it. That's what I had in my head. That was my initial idea. Didn't work with the acrylic paint. But um, yeah, you can always try making your stuff work and um, try to think differently. That was a good thing to wipe it off and um, works great for me. Going on with a bit of darker edges so and uh, for the outside for the background I use the white Posca and make a nice line around the edges to give some sort of a halo you know so and um, I think I will go on or well, first with the letters I wanted to get this crackles out much more that's why I put in some or on top some of da of the darker green it's a pit pen as well and let it soak into the crackles and then I remove it um, from the top with a baby wipe and that accentuates the crackles much more and of course there is a framed word as you can see I'm trying to work the frame out a bit more so on here I thought I need a bit a darker grey outside and I wanted to have this this um, shading again a bit lighter to the inside so I start with the outside and then I blend it out to the inside. Sometimes I use my fingers as you can see. That's what I like to do. It's a direct way to work. You can feel what you're doing. That's why I really do like to work with my fingers. And... Um, I think I will get even darker on the edges later. That's just the beginning. And that's really good. To work with the pit pens is fantastic because they have um, such, not such a long, but they have an open time where you can push them around. And when they're dry, they're permanent, even better. You know, that's, um, you don't have to worry about working on top of them again nothing will happen they're permanent but you can push them around for a while especially when you take them up with a water tank brush um, you water it down a tiny bit it will be open even longer so I'm working here and get an even darker edge but I'm almost there what I forgot was taking a close-up but um, that's why I will show you now my um, sealing work. I seal it with um, Liquitex uh, acrylic medium varnish. Um, it's a glossy one, it is, yeah. I show that in real time that you can have a good look at it. But of course you will see some pictures at the end and you can have a closer look there. Um, stay tuned at the end after the pictures I will show you be because Mika's... Um, 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 parcel just arrived I will show you what she sent her artwork so stay tuned for that you, but first you will see the pictures and I will say already thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you like it if so 
don't forget to leave a thumbs up and even a comment if you like that would be fantastic i wish you a fantastic time and i hope i will see you on wednesday so bye bye guys and thanks for watching bye bye tschüss leute ciao -i. Ich zeige noch ein Video an oder eine kurze Sequenz am Ende. Bleibt ruhig noch dran, wenn ihr sehen wollt, was Mieke mir geschickt hat. Tschüssi. Hi guys, here is um, Mieke's um, envelope that has just arrived today. And I wanted to show you the front. It's so nicely made um, before I turn it around. So I um, opened it here already, but I didn't have a peek inside so I will see it now first time oh oh this small bubble wrap oh love that always need that I always can only can get this this normal sized ones I love the small ones so oh that's happy but oh I can't open that yet it's not my birthday yet <laughs> So sorry, I didn't expect that, but I will open this one. Okay, I bet I will show you what she sent me in my next videos because I thought I, I did I tell you that I, I tell I told you that this is part <clears throat> one of three videos I'm making, and um, so I will show you that in the last video i will open it then and or in the second one it's wednesday on wednesday my, my birthday is on monday so i will show you that on, on wednesday latest on friday so okay there is a letter in i won't read the letter to you and uh, her birthday card <laughs> that goes on that bit oh what that oh gosh look at that Oh, she's a fantastic artist. She's doing so fantastic stuff. I have already some stuff from her and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's a magnet. Oh, I love that. I really love that. Something for my fridge. I really have a lot of magnets on my fridge and I really, really like that. Especially when they're handmade. It's so much more, so much nicer. And this bought one's great, fantastic. Everything is wrapped up here. Oh, what's that? We oh gosh, look at this charms! Isn't that fantastic? Oh, I love them. These butterflies are fantastic. Oh, look at this one. Can you see them? Absolutely great, huh? And these leaves. Oh, I love them. I love it. I really have have um, these boxes with all my charms and I have to use them, I know. But it's so precious, you know. <laughs> I can't use them. They've gone then. They will go. Oh, no. Ah, fantastic. Oh, are these passepartouts. I really like to work with passepartouts, you know that. And um, perfect, absolutely. And in black, I really like to have... Uh, to map my stuff on black and because of the contrast and um, she is fantastic she knows that ah Mika you are such a fantastic woman and in white of course it's what you always need and you can if you want to have a different color you can um, colorize it letters letters yeah and um numbers great oh, that looks like there are a lot of them 10 sticker sheets that's quite a lot 10 of them good fantastic so oh, i love this type of of little bags you know with this um closure really like that and that's handmade it's fantastic isn't that great with this mm, Japanese or Chinese? I bet it's Chinese paper. I really love that. That's great. Is that leather or paper? Oh, it's. I think it's a heavy paper or cardboard stuff. That's so great. I've never thought about making this myself, but of course you can do that. I really like this type of closure. Oh, 
Oh, and look at this card. Look at this. Isn't she great? She is really fantastic and she's not showing her stuff. Oh, she, she really should do that. Absolutely fantastic. That will definitely go on my wall of fame. <laughs> all the walls here. Um, full of all the, the little art stuff I get from my fellow artist friends and um, yeah it's great several layers of jelly printed deli paper and of course drawn on it really nice absolutely fantastic look at this that would be worth showing isn't it doesn't it yeah okay Good, so as I said, I will show you what's in here next in the next video or in the last one. Wednesday or Friday, you will see. Okay, good guys. Oh no, this video will be up on Monday. So today is my birthday. <laughs> now, of course, I make this video a bit in advance. It's weekend now, it's and uh, but I will put it up on Monday. So today's my birthday <laughs> and I will be out. I will have a fantastic day together with my hubby and with my little boys. And um, yeah, we will really enjoy that. I'm off work today's uh, Monday and Tuesday, so I have a long weekend. Good, guys, that's it. So I will keep that short. Um, thanks again for watching and I hope I will see you soon with my next video on Wednesday. Think about Wednesday, coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, 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 bye.